Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's September the 5th, 2023, and I have a dream to share with you guys this morning, along with Bible scripture at the end. Here's the dream. I dreamed a man had been a healthcare worker. During his career, he had taken care of this little girl who had a terminal illness, but she had an inheritance and it was a house. This man had a plan on how he was going to steal this house and one of the things was, is that he had to wait for her to die. Once she died, then he would be able to implement his plan. As she was getting sicker and sicker, he was so cruel to her, telling her horrible things, treating her just so badly. Thinking that the worse he treated her, the quicker she would die. Well, time passed and she did pass away and he acquired her house. More time passed and this man felt guilty for what he had done. He went to a dentist and the dentist taught him about how he could be forgiven. He became very remorseful and he sought Jesus Christ and he was forgiven. He was also trying to forgive himself and that part was not easy. And in the dream I was sitting there watching the man discuss his story with another person. And as he was telling this other person about what he had done, I remember thinking, you can be forgiven. Okay, so this Bible scripture uh, comes to my mind um, about Jesus said he did not come to save the righteous, but sinners, for they are in need of a physician. Okay, now. In the dream, he went to go see a dentist. Now this Bible scripture, Psalms chapter uh, 3, verse 7, this is what David was praying for the, for the the against God's enemies. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. But see, this man went, and went to go see a dentist. A dentist fixes teeth. The dentist was explaining to him about how Jesus Christ can save him. Jesus Christ can forgive him. He can be forgiven. And that was also important for him to forgive himself. Matthew chapter 5, starting at verse 43. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the, on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is a perfect. So in this dream, this man was hateful to her. And he, he, you know, despitefully used her. Okay? It says, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Okay? So, in this dream it is showing that yes, there are wicked people out here who are hurting us, who are despitefully using us, but they can be forgiven. They can be forgiven. You are commanded on what you are to do. As a child of God, what are you to do? What is your response supposed to be? We have to make sure that we are walking in the will of God the Father, not our own thoughts and not our own, uh, not our own heart, okay? Because the Bible says our heart is uh, very wicked. There's Bible scripture that says that. So... Matthew chapter 5, starting at verse 3 to 48. If you're struggling with uh, something somebody's done to you or whatnot, go to those scriptures. Read them again for yourself. 
meditate on those forgive your enemies and pray for them which despitefully use you this man could be forgiven he was having a really hard I mean it took time it took time it took time for this man to you know this girl to die he was horrible to her he was just so horrible I was watching the whole thing he was just really hard saying just horrible horrible things see and a, and a lot of things is as just human beings uh, whether you're a Christian or just a worldly person you see somebody hurting a child doing cruel things to children and your first response oh they need to die they need to die they just need to be tortured they need the worst thing to ever happen to them da -da 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 -da. well guess what that is not how God feels God doesn't feel that way at all God can actually forgive them they must repent and God will mercifully forgive them as he is mercifully forgiven you and many people like to pick out particular sins oh well if you're this or you're that you know like like one sins worse than the other there's one sin that's worse than all that cannot be forgiven and that is blaspheming the Holy Spirit as children of God we are not to pick and choose which sin is going to be worse than another except for the one that we are told that cannot be forgiven which is like I said blaspheming the Holy Spirit the Bible says that so when you have this built up preconceived notion in your brain that oh this sin is so bad and they need to die and this needs to happen to them and that needs to happen to them when God sees it another way you're actually grieving the father especially when he has told you on what you are to do what you are to do what is, what is your answer to this what is your reaction supposed to be I just read that to you in, in Matthew okay Matthew chapter 5 so um this it took time for this man to feel remorse for what he did it took time so you know um, God was patiently enduring this man in the dream and I do believe that God knows everything from the beginning to the end. He knows who is going to come to him in advance. He already knows. He knows all things. He knows who's going to repent and who is not. And all this judging for, with other people needs to stop. We need to stop. Now, if you see your brother stumbling in love, you are to correct him. You are to point it out. You say, listen, make sure you're not doing the same thing, though. You know, don't make sure you're you're not, you know, like if you're sitting there gossiping about people and then you see somebody else gossiping, don't dare say to them, oh, you're gossiping. You know, I'm just going to tell you, you need to stop that because at that point you have a log in your own eye. So you can't even see to put, pull out the speck from your brother's eye. Okay. Make sure that you're right before you go talk to somebody else. But in this dream, you know, these were uh, the man was the man who had, who had done this to the child was was telling this other man his story and there's Bible scripture that also it says confess your sins one to another that ye may be healed that ye may be healed no confess your sins one to another that they that they may pray and you will be healed okay so th pray for your enemies pray for those who despitefully use you You know, so just, uh, just mind your thoughts, mind your tongue, mind your heart. Let's all make sure we're walking in alignment with God the Father and ask for his renewed spirit every day. All right. So God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.